The history of Cocos Island and how's life there. Cocos Island sits approximately 280 miles off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica and was, until 1832, completely uninhabited. These days it's technically home to one person, although that number varies depending on whether or not you count the small colony of seashells fodies, or foddy birds, that also make their home on the island. The history of Cocos Island begins with Spanish captain Antonio de Villegas, who discovered the island in 1596 while sailing from Panama to Peru. How did it get there? Though it's technically a part of Costa Rica, it can only be accessed by boat from Panama. It's about a 12-hour journey to get there, and you may run into some waves along your way. On top of that, if you get seasick easily, you might want to consider taking medication before your trip. Getting around the island. Getting around Cocos is pretty straightforward, with roads connecting all of its small villages. Currently, there are no cars on the island, so most people travel either by motorbike or foot. In fact, getting from one side to another will require you to walk or ride a motorcycle for about 45 minutes. If you're traveling in a large group, it may be worthwhile to rent a four-wheeler. This option can cost upwards of $100 per day. The History of Cocos The history of Cocos is quite fascinating and has been shaped by its unique geography and location. Wildlife on Cocos Island With thousands of species in its waters and 2,800 plant species on land, Cocos Island has an incredible array of wildlife. How did they get there? To put it simply, by flight. Birds have been resting in Cocos trees for centuries, as have bats and some large insects like ants and dragonflies. There are also several species of lizards that call Cocos home. Additionally, a few types of mammals, pigs and rats, have made their way onto the island over time. How many people live in Cocos Town? Cocos Town is a village located on Cocos Island, near San Andres in Colombia. It consists of approximately 2,000 people who live in huts made out of wood and palm leaves with roofs made out of sago palm leaves. Facilities on the island To live on an island is one thing, but to have all your needs met by that same island is another. The history of Cocos Island goes far back and has seen its share of booms and busts. From trading ships to party islands to modern-day conservation efforts, we're taking a look at what it takes for humans to thrive in such remote conditions. Which tour should you take while there? You won't find a whole lot to do on Cocos, so make sure you take some tours. If you don't have a car, hire a driver and rent a Jeep. First stop, El Yunk, where you can hike up to La Mina Falls or just enjoy a walk through tropical forest trails. Next up, a visit to Punta Banco, an offshore island with several beaches that locals claim are some of Panama's best. Things to do on the beach When was the last time you visited a secluded beach that was only accessible via a small boat? In Costa Rica's Cocos Island National Park, that's exactly what you get when you visit Playa Ventanas. It's amazing how a few decades ago, life on Cocos wasn't much different from that which is seen today. On many islands in Costa Rica and other countries throughout Central and South America, tourism has wreaked havoc on once pure ecosystems. Sleeping options in town In town, you'll find many hotels and hostels to choose from. For accommodations that are more island-centric, try your hand at camping or staying in a bungalow. We hope you enjoy from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.